What's up you guys, welcome back to a new episode of How To DIY RC and today we're going to learn how to fly the Mavic Mini in full mode manually because last week's episode we came across this guy in the RX-8 that just started doing donuts and asking for attention and following this guy we had this nice shot following him from the back a nice angle close to 45 degrees and it just it was so amazing with the harbor in the background with all the ships I was just hooked so yeah, so something connected with this follow me I was like man that looked awesome and then we came across of course the rabbit and we did the range test and we had a car that came up to me of course we were more interested in that rabbit so we started to follow that rabbit and first off it just sat there and standing still I had no clue I was there and when it noticed me it was pretty okay with me I just could circle around it without any trouble sitting and still making it nice cinematic shots because that's what we are learning and trying to improve all the time and next yeah, it takes practice to really improve your skills and flying this drone and following me and after the second circle it ran away so we could follow it a little bit and it was nice it was just nice very nice shots but then i was like hey, it's a wild animal let that rabbit alone and take some shots from a boat he won't mind that I'm taking shots. He's not going to be impressed with a little drone far away in the distance. But it's very slow. It looks very nice and it's beautiful, but so super slow. So I thought about, well, let's try and follow myself on a bike. But it's pretty hard to drive a bicycle and fly at the same time. And I'm flying at 45 degrees, so I'm not only flying forward, but also flying sideways at the same time. And that string that in a, in a straight line and having me in the center of the video and keeping up the speed of the drone compared to the bike and having that all balanced is super difficult well, we created some nice shots as you can see it's super difficult going up and backwards and then forwards again and it's much easier of course because this is in a straight line and not just tiny tiny bit of an angle but this is super easy but yeah. I need to practice because now I'm drifting off to the right and it's just not easy to drive a bike and fly at the same time luckily there's nobody around of course I will not take any risk if there is but I just practice and practice and practice all around the beach because we got just some nice bicycle roads going for miles and miles and miles along the beach of course I do fly on the right side <laughs> far away from the water because I don't want to lose this nice drone as we did before and now we get a little bit cocky and start to uh, fly with no drive with no hands and fly at the same time. Yeah. But here in the distance you can see there's a little corner coming up and it's already getting the drone lined up and making it very difficult, you know. Trying to bicycle and steer at the same time and looking ahead what's coming up and then hope that we don't drift against the dike or pole or tree. Yeah. Luckily there are no trees around, but you know, for most people that are flying are close to trees and they will catch your drone and hurt them <laughs> real bad. But now we are taking that corner and it's just, it's not easy. And at the same time, if you are taking the corner, the angle of the drone is also changing and getting more at a 45 degree angle. I'm liking this shot, it's perfect, but it just came by luck because you are taking the corner. But this is just nice, it's perfect. You got more, you see more of the background than me in the in the front. And here we're going a little bit wrong. It just takes practice to get it all balanced up with the right speed of the drone with the bicycle. Right. Now we are changing this view, so we are flying backwards. I just had to try it out to get some different shots and then this was very nice. This one was what I really like going up the speed catching me up now we are trying the yaw just to get some nice shots around the corner and you can see more of the background it's just beautiful again we try it again getting really close while we are flying backwards <laughs> and of course we have to try it out sideways and it looks pretty nice i'm pretty happy with this shot i'm really liking it from the side it looks good and we had a ride nice on speed and we're taking the corner and we keep on keep on flying so we get a nice overview of the surrounding and this is just some bonus footage there you can see my beautiful beach 
this always show, comes up at a low tide. Then we got these stairs that bring us up and down to the beach. But as you can see, there was a bird flying behind my door. We get her head back home and get her in safety. But now we have the sun facing the camera. It looks nice the background, but I'm completely blacked out. It's just a, a shadow, nothing more than a shadow. That's all you can see. And you just keep on training, of course, to get it all nice, then I stop. Don't drive the bike too hard or don't fly the drone too fast. And I hope you like this episode. And if you're new to this channel, then I hope you subscribe. And if you have any spare parts you need, then check out the links down below. And thank you for watching. I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.